I had to laugh because it was sort of typical at this point that the closing, like the final shot was a shot of hands. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's time for another spooky video. It's uh, still the month of October, and I'm so excited to delve into a couple more horror spooky videos with you. Just having a lot of fun with these. So today I wanted to take a look at Blackbriar's The Seance. Now, Blackbriar is a Dutch band. Uh, I'm Dutch too. Yet I didn't know about these guys until pretty recently. So I'm, I'm excited to check out more of their work. The videos that I've seen so far looked really good. And this one was recommended as one being appropriate for what we're doing here this month. So, so in case you're new here, my name is Manonda Reaper. I'm a filmmaker. I write and direct. And I love music videos. I love talking about music videos. I love deconstructing them, watching them, just eventually I hope to shoot them, you know, with some of these bands. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. So that's kind of what we do on this channel. We talk about music videos from sort of the cinematic perspective and just appreciate how they make such a good package along with the music. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Black Briar, the seance. Let's go. some beautiful shots here wow so i love this setting here and it, it it starts on that painting which is really creepy looking by the way this painting i don't know what painting that is but it's very creepy looking i love the bald heads with the white dresses or robes i don't know what they're wearing but it's a very cool look and we have some of that beautiful blue and orange work here so the really blue light on her face a warmer yellow orange light on the back which is um just giving that beautiful duality that we love very pretty look everything is just really soft also like the contrast other than you know what the light is giving us in in the color grade the contrast isn't too high the blacks aren't that deeply black they're almost a little grayish so it's a little bit washed out looking which again is going with that ghost vibe this shot reminded me of the babadook a little bit which i saw again recently if you've seen it you may know what i mean where you have this living room and they're, they're sitting in front of the TV and it casts this beautiful glow. We have these really like bluish tones here. And I love how she's looking over the back of the seat like this, like kind of looking at us as if maybe she's trying to communicate with us. I would definitely say that she's probably the ghost though, because she's dressed in white. So we do love a woman in white here on this channel. We see it quite a bit in these metal videos. This is another great shot. Again, the warm light here with the really blue uh, kind of harsh light there. It's it's creating a beautiful sort of rim light outline here. Just very, very pretty and well thought out. He's wearing a beautiful suit, by the way. Very nice costuming here. And then we have this book. It was moving on its own. And I feel like that might be another way that she's trying to communicate with him. 
And then we have some lovely overhead shots. There are some creative angles here. I love the lines here as well with, you know, the floor. And then we have these lines here. It's, it's, it's very visually pleasing. It is quite dark. Like his face is barely visible at all here. Same here. It's very, very dark. It's almost hard to see. Uh, his outline because he sort of mixes into the background but here again we have a beautiful sort of outline on her and I love again this is quite a unusual shot in how how much we see of her environment and this wall and she's just sitting here in the corner really nice very painterly almost very cute and then the glass started moving on its own that was quite a cool effect Let, let's uh, keep watching and and start there Before we head into the final part of the video, just wanted to quickly talk about how much we're focusing on hands in this video. There's a lot going on, like we're, we have a lot of lingering shots on these guys, hands on the table, but also like leading into it, we saw some shots of their hands. And just in general, there's a lot of hand going on. So hands, more hands. Here, more hands, obviously these shots, hands, and then shots like this. It's an interesting choice. It's, uh, it's, it's quite noticeable how many hands there are all the time. <laughs> One thing that kind of bothers me is that all of their cuffs are straight and then this guy has the ruffled cuffs. I don't know if that is supposed to make this guy stand out, like he's a the the character that it's actually about if that makes sense like that she's trying to communicate with or that is actually like the main guy trying to communicate with her but it looks a little 70s compared to what the rest is wearing which is a little incongruous with like the time uh, that they're placing the rest of the video or at least that's what i'm feeling like so that for me would be like a little thing that i'd be like mm, maybe we try and get another straight shirt real quick Love this shot, very pretty, uh, very shallow depth of field. So we only see his face. We It's not sharp on his eye, by the way. It's it's more so focused here on the beard, which is why we see a little of the, the glimmers in the hairs. And then already here, you can see like it's already out of focus here. And obviously in the background, this guy with the fantastic beard is very blurry. See? 
What a cool ending to this video. I love that. Again, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I had to laugh because it was sort of typical at this point that the closing, like the final shot was a shot of hands. <laughs> Um, but that moment where she sort of hangs horizontally over the table as she says boo and this guy like falls backwards epic very 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 cool love that overall like all the slow-mo like there were I think it had been slowed down at you know different rates so we saw some slow-mo that was very slow and some that was a little less slow but you could just see that some of it was moving a little less slowly so it just gives it that smooth and sort of spooky look that we really like you know so it, it looked really really great and i love this shot where she is singing here in front of this light um all of these shots really great love the outline and by the way I think I was right I think I do think that they gave the guy uh, who's basically her guy if that makes sense that she's trying to communicate with he was wearing the ruffles even though you don't see it here when it cuts to her perspective I can't find the shot but we do see it earlier on that he's the one wearing the ruffles so maybe that was just a way that they tried to distinguish this guy from the others and not make him blend in too, too much. Yes, this moment though, very, very, very cool. I love how creepy this looked. She was sort of hanging over uh, the table as they were focusing on, you know, calling her, I guess, trying to communicate with her. And then uh, she says, boo, let's see if this is the moment. Very cool. I love how they all just scattered and ran out except this one guy. I wonder how they lifted her. It really looked like she was hanging. They, There's a couple possibilities. Either they propped her up, so she was maybe sitting on or lying on a couple of apple boxes or something. Or they actually rigged her and, you know, removed those ropes in post or the the lines it's curious i do really like how they sort of also started changing the angles so the camera is actually tilted this way here which is really cool so it's it's definitely unusual to see the floor on the left side right so it's it's really cool that they sort of like also played with that and turning the world upside down it's actually reminding me a little bit of an attraction in the efteling uh, which is a Dutch theme park called Villa Volta. <laughs> it basically like turned like the whole room in this sort of, ooh, actually, as a matter of fact, it reminds me a little bit of Villa Volta also in the way that the room looks, which is with the white tiles and sort of like antique furniture. So I don't know if that was intentional, but if it was, really, really cool. If not, surprisingly niche, obscure reference right there. <laughs> I hope it is like that would kind of geek me out if that was if if the look was sort of inspired by Villa Volta that would be cool anyway probably not they really cut it very interestingly too where we're cutting to all of these unusual angles and still it's sort of really it, it all fits together very smoothly and then we have the hands to tie it all together so it it was just fun to see how many shots with hands we saw, how much the the hands are like a focal point in this video. It's it's funny because usually we we choose the face to be the focal point in in these videos and here so like we we usually like are focused on the hands and the the, the hands are lit. So it's a uh, it's an interesting choice. I really like it. It's unusual. I, I'm not sure about the imagery. Maybe someone wants to tell me in the comments what the symbolism of hands is in this sort of setting. Um, but I feel like this was a really effective, fun video. And also, beautiful song, by the way. It's like, her voice is very pretty. 
I don't know. Can't help but feel a little proud for such a beautiful video coming from the Netherlands. We have Blackbriar. We have, um, you know, Charlotte the Wessels, who I spoke with recently about her fantastic videos. It's like, I can tell that all of these Dutch acts are putting so much effort into their videos. It's just really, really fun to see. Really stunning. Whew. Just great job. What else can I say? Anyway, really love this one. Another great one for our Halloween month. And yeah, follow along, subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, coming out in the comments, or if you want to get more into it, we also have a Discord server where we chat about movies and TV, about obviously music and music videos, games, like all of our favorite things. And it's been so much fun getting to know some of you better. Also, you can support me on Patreon, where I share some of my own work that I can share publicly yet. And yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.